Hello, dear channel. This is 2024. My name is Damien Warbach. Welcome to Blender 4.1. The jewelry series continues. Let's start and add a mesh circle. Radius 17.3 divided by 2. That's a size 7 American. Let's go to your favorite gemstone collection and append a diamond. Make the diamond 2.5 millimeters. Copy, paste the scale move it here now let's go to geometry nodes join this window we won't need it today on the diamond create a new set of geometry nodes right here now let's go to add mesh primitives mesh circle here now let's go to add input constant value now plug the value to the radius of the circle now go to add utilities math math plug it here in the middle we're going to divide the value by two because the value is going to be the finger size diameters which is in this case a size 7 american 17.3 and it must be divided by two to get the radius now we need some instances let's go to add instances instances on points plug it here now the diamonds which is the geometry is going to be the instance here and not the points. And the mesh circle is going to give the points here. Don't forget to set the location to zero and don't forget to apply the scale. This is obviously just the beginning. Now let's start making some rotations. Let's go to add instances, rotate instances, plug it here. We're not going to do it in the local space. We're going to do it in the global space. So remove this check right there and rotate 90 degrees here in order to rotate all the diamonds. And also because the tradition is to have the ring standing like this. Now, obviously, the diamonds are not in the correct directions. They must face to the center of the ring. To do that, let's start to add geometry, read the normal right there. Plug it to the rotation of the instances right there. That's pretty nice, but that's not what we want. Now let's go to add utilities, rotation, align Euler to vector. Plug it here. The normal is going to be the vector there. Now we're back to the same wrong position, but now let's go to add utilities, rotation, rotate Euler, plug it here. This time it's going to be local. Let's go to 90 degrees on Y. The orientation is now correct to the center of the ring. Now we still want to tweak the position of the gemstones and the amount of the gemstones. Let's go to add instances, translate instances. You can put it here. Go to the front view and we have the finger size reference right here. So obviously the gemstones must be higher than the finger size. So we need to translate on the z-axis. Let's go at 1.4 by example. And now you can tweak the amount of vertices of the circle, which makes the amount of gemstones. I will be fine at 24. So now that we have this, I'm going to start building the design of the ring by elements. Let's go back to layout. Let's go to top view. Now let's go to add mesh Taurus, let's go at 6030 to have a nice resolution. Major radius 0.9 or whatever works for you and minor radius 0.35 or whatever works for you. First, I'm going to make the design in position. So this is the base of the setting it must be here. Don't forget object smooth. OK, so scale it in all as needed. And don't forget to reset the scale at first. OK, and let's call this setting base. So now let's go back to geometry nodes. OK, here we don't need new nodes, but let's create new ones and let's apply the one we did earlier. So obviously it's going to apply the same effect. Let's duplicate it and let's call it setting base multiplier. Now, don't forget to reset the location to zero. And here what we have is the translation that must change. So that's why I'm going to make nodes specific to each element. So we have much more control on each element. 
So here, find the new translation. Zero is not good. 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.175. So these are the bases for the setting. Now what we need is a belt. So let's go back to layout, front view, add mesh plane, center it on Y. Let's go to edit mode, merge at center, and let's start designing the belt. So we're going to give the belt a nice little design. Here, let's close it here. All this setting belt. Now let's go to modifiers, add modifier screw. Let's do control A rotation. Now do a shift S cursor to select it. Go to the view location on X at zero. Let's make object set origin to 3D cursor right there. So it goes around the stone. Now add modifier generate subdivision surface. So if you want, you can reverse the steps to something lower. And also something important, you need to recalculate the order of the normals. And so we get the perfect, nice surface and shape for the belt. Great. Now let's go to geometry nodes, add a new one. Use the same setting, base multiplier, but duplicate it and call this setting belt multiplier. Now, obviously, if you take a look at your list of geometry nodes, you'll see all the useless ones. You can simply go to file, clean up, recursive, unused data blocks. There you go. And you're only left with the ones in use. So here for the belt, set the location to zero and adapt the translation. So obviously here, it's very important that you don't touch the gemstone. So you, you must find quite the exact location. Something here, we're not touching the gemstone. Now we need prongs. Let's go to layout. So here, any boring jeweler will create a prong, make mirrors and put four prongs per setting. That's super boring. Everyone has seen that. And that's not what I'm going to do because we are here to make something new. So top view, add curve, Bezier curve, center it here. Let's go to edit mode. So we have this. Let's start designing something. And I want the settings to be in contact. So we are going to use the prongs to make everything we need, the contact and setting the gemstones, obviously. Before going further, let's go resolution 45. Now geometry, bevel round depth at least 0.3, fill caps. Now let's adapt the radius to the base. Here will be fine. Also important, the resolution. Let's go at 21 on the round bevel right there. And what I want is the prong to start from the base, go around there in a nice spiral, connecting the elements and obviously getting to the gemstone. We are going to need subdivision, select everything, subdivide right there. Now for the head of the prong, let's extrude right there like this. Let's rotate. Let's come back in. Now let's adapt the length here. Just need to find a nice position and you're going to have a nicer round head. So out of edit mode, this is prong style one. Now don't forget to reset the position to zero. Let's go to geometry nodes, new nodes. Now here we are going to need a bit of tweaking because the orientations are different. So let's duplicate the nodes. These are prongs style one multiplier right there. So let's start working on this orientation. Let's have a go at another set of rotation. Let's go at 90, 90 right there. So now what we need, the orientation is correct, but the position is not. So we need to translate this and find the exact location for these prongs. So it's fairly easy because we know that they must be in the base right there. Okay, and this is quite nice. So we have one style of prongs connecting the settings, but we need more prongs. Let's start working on that. So what we can do right here is copy these nodes right there. Now the points are the same. The geometry instances are the same. Now we need to join geometry. So we need to add geometry, 
join geometry node let's put it here we're going to add this so obviously the rotation here for instance is the same so it goes there and i'm exactly in the same position for now so what we want is to rotate 180 degrees on the z-axis and we have the flipped prongs on the other side creating a very interesting undulating design for our eternity band all right this is pretty nice but we still want more prongs let's go back to layout and let's add a new bezier curve um, set it to zero and let's start editing here for resolution same configuration 45 depth 3 resolution 21 fill caps and let's start designing so here the progression 0.75 a different prong because like i said stop using the same things over and over again your work in this life is to create something new something interesting and obviously you need to work obviously you need to make an effort let's go out of edit mode let's call this prong style 2 now let's go to geometry nodes new use the same prong style one multiplier duplicate it call it style number two now it's all about the translation here must be adapted for this second style of prong be 0.55 so here don't forget to adapt the other translation that's a bit too low 0.8 let's see right there 0.8 don't forget to save and take a look at your design. And obviously, the great benefit is that we can adapt the design to a specific size. Let me show you. So these three nodes here, you know that they repeat across all the nodes for all the elements. So here what we can do, make a group, tab to go out of the group. Now this group, we can call it size and multiply. So here now what we can do is add group the size and multiply group and we can go directly here and now you can erase these nodes everywhere also for the belt so let's go add group uh, size and multiply right here plug it right there now for this style add group size and multiply now also on the base add group size and multiply group you can plug it right there and you can raise that so now what's the benefit of using these nodes well we have this group now let's go to the group using tab so here we have the amount of elements and here we have the size of the ring so it means that you can create an eternity band of any size you wish let me demonstrate this is the size now we just need to find the amount of elements that fits this specific size and here we are we have a much smaller eternity band generated with just two different values in our geometry nodes so as many times before what i explained today is very basic we have used very basic geometry nodes there's nothing very fancy or very complex about the nodes that i explained today but the resulting tool that we have now is very powerful and that's very symbolic of my tutorials and my channel i always use very basic things but the way we apply them is very much adapted for jewelry design in blender using very simple tools to create the maximum effect you want a bigger eternity ring here we go the diameter and the amount of elements and obviously if you edit the designs you can very quickly create alternate eternity bands. This is great. We have a beautiful eternity band. And guess what? We want a render. So let's get started. First, we need a floor. Add mesh plane. Here, and let's make it pretty big. Now here, I'll control zero for a point of view for your camera. I'm going to make a square resolution here. Now, environment texture 
open. I'm going to use a Canary Wharf 4K HDR. You can find it on the internet. Now let's go to shading. Material for the diamonds, new material. Here it's got roughness zero, IOR 2.418, transmission weight one. Now go and search patented diamond images. Find a picture with a nice set of dispersion colors like this one. Save the image and go back to Blender. Now go to add texture, image texture, plug to color, search for your image right there. Go to box, cubic, blend one. Now add input texture coordinates, generated to vector, add vector mapping right here. Now to see clearly the fake dispersion that we're making now, go to world, add color HSV, remove the saturation from the environment, go back to object, here add color HSV here for the color, raise the saturation and start tweaking. Now we need white gold, select the prong, new white gold, metallic one, roughness 0.05, Add texture, Voronoi texture, plug color to normal, add vector bump here, plug to height, add input texture coordinate, generated to vector, add vector mapping here. Now go to F1 smooth for the type. And now it's all about tweaking the scale and the strength. Make a very slight bump for your metal. Now select all the other elements that will receive white gold. Go to object, LinkedIn transfer materials. Go back to render preview, select the floor, new material, floor, metallic one, base color, almost black 0.01, roughness 0.3. Now let's add light, point light. Move it somewhere there to the left side, power eight, 1500 use nodes 320 radius size 3 now it's time to tweak our render settings samples let's go at 600 the noise let's go to open image accurate double check that you're using the new ajx color management performance depending on your hardware we're ready to render f12 the happy moment and watch the magic unfold before your eyes. Don't forget to save the image. Save. Uh, RGB, we have no alpha compression zero if you want the best quality. Eternity band render one. Uh, save as image. All right, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you soon.